Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to set up your own Payhip store and start selling digital products like Canva templates. Super easy, no upfront cost, and perfect for beginners. So, without further ado, let's get started. This platform that I'll be sharing with you is called Payhip. So just search payhip.com. It's totally free to start. To start, just type your email, then input your personal information such as your name, email, and password to create your account. Next is your store name. Then click continue. After that, choose your store username. Now let's set up everything step by step. So now you'll see the dashboard. As you can see, we've already completed 25% of the store setup. But before we can customize, Payhip requires us to upload our first product. So let's do that first. So there are many choices for product types on Payhip, like courses, memberships, or coaching. But since I'm selling templates, we'll go to digital products. So just click digital product and now you'll see the upload section. The first thing you need to do is upload your product file. This is the landing page file that contains your Canva template link. After uploading the file, you need to fill out all the information about your product such as title of your product, the price, so Payhip lets you choose any currency but I'll be using USD for this tutorial. Next is product cover. This is your mock-up or preview image. So upload a nice cover design. And then next is the description. So here you are gonna explain your product details how buyers can use it and include any instructions or social media links for support. Actually, I use ChatGPT to help me write product descriptions. It makes the process faster and easier. You can simply copy-paste your details, add your instructions, and make sure buyers will not be confused. So once you're done, just click Add Product. Payhip will generate a unique product link that you can share on your social media. You can also click show me my product store to preview how it looks to buyers. Now let's customize the store. From the dashboard, click store builder. Here on the header part, you can upload your store logo. If you don't have one yet, you can use a photo or even just your brand name. You can adjust the size, hide, or show it. Next is the navigation links. These are the menus buyers will see like shop, contact, or about. You can leave them as default. There's also an announcement bar option. This shows a message at the very top of your store. For example, like, welcome, get 20% off this week. Something like that. And then, for the about me section, you can upload a profile picture and short info about yourself so buyers know who you are. You can also customize the background image to make your store look more branded. Then, you can change the color scheme of your store. For example, like black, white, highlight, or pastel depending on your static. 
Payhip also provides free themes so you can choose how your store looks overall. This store or my store is currently under the Echoes theme. But on the other hand, if you want more customization, you can go to Advance where you can upload a full background picture. Whether you designed it or you just get it from Pinterest, it depends on you. So I've decided to change the header part. So just go here to header section and if you prefer logo or if you prefer your name, just delete the logo and then it's automatically show your store name. Once you're happy, click Save Changes and then Publish. Now we're now finished customizing our store, we will now proceed on setting up our payout account. Now, let's set up how you will receive payments. Payhip offers two options. It's either PayPal or Stripe. For me, I use PayPal since I already have an account. So I just connect PayPal and once connected, Payhip shows its link and ready to accept payments. So if you don't have PayPal, you can create one for free. Stripe is another option if you want to accept card payments directly. Now let's check other important settings. Here in the store, you can add your Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or other social media links so buyers can contact you easily. In the billing and invoices, since I'm using the free plan, Payhip will deduct a 5% transaction fee from every sale. If you upgrade to the $29 per month plan, the fee lowers to 2%. And if you go pro at $99 per month, there are no transaction fees. But since I don't want any upfront cost right now, I'm fine using the free version. So next is the taxes section. If you're selling physical products, you'll need to put your store address here. Add your tax rates and set up the tax rules depending on your country. But for me, since I'm only selling digital products, I don't really need to input anything here. I'll just leave it blank because no shipping or physical delivery is involved. Now let's go to shipping. This section is mainly for sellers with physical products. Digital products don't require shipping, so I'll just skip it. Next is the advanced settings. This is where you'll find your extra tools to protect your digital products. For example, you can protect your PDF files, you can have your email notification when someone buy and someone receive the product. You can also set download limit, meaning your buyer can only download the file a certain number of times. You can also customize your invoices by adding your logo or your brand name. And lastly, you can add an email receipts that your buyers receive when they purchase from your store. You can add a thank you message or a instruction here. This section is really useful because it helps you keep your product safe and your store looking more professional. And others just login information and your API key. And once done, just click save settings. And after everything, you go back to your dashboard. Here you're gonna see your products, your store, your analytics, marketing tools, where you can add your coupons codes for discounts, and customers where you create email updates for your subscribers and check your sales reports. And that's it. We just uploaded our first digital product and customized our store and pay him. This is one of the easiest and free platforms to start selling Canva templates or other digital products without any upfront cost. 
If you found this helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more Canva and design hacks, and comment below what tutorial you want me to do next. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.